Okay, this is going to be a Christmas gift when it gets done. I'm about ready to put this into a electronic safe with a solenoid lock. Um, of course I'll be doing it on a custom circuit board and since I only need a couple pins I'll be using a Arduino Nano instead of the Mega um, naturally. I uh, don't need such a big board but I uh, still have a few things I want to do on um, debouncing uh, the motor it's still a little bit touchy but on a reset um, it lets you know that the unit is ready with five beeps um, either with an on switch or a reset button uh, the blue light is to indicate when a turn's been made um, I've got a three uh, three number combination programmed in um, unless I do some kind of external storage, which I don't think I'll do, um, it'll be hard-coded. Um, and I've also put in uh, protection so that if you get any combination wrong, it resets, and buzzes, and lets you know. So as long as this don't have any bounce, let's see if the combination works. Go clockwise, and then counterclockwise, and then clockwise again, just like a padlock. Uh, a little touchy. Like I said, I got to debounce it. Reset. I think that counted too. And there we go. The final four beeps uh, would trigger, trigger a solenoid on one of the pins through a transistor, of course, and unlock the safe. So now I just got to find me a cheap safe and remove the uh, keypad and install the electronic padlock. Um, I've also put up uh, Arduino projects and schematics and the code on our uh, research website. Planet X Research, all one word, P L A N E T X Research dot com or dot org. Um, I'll put the links in the description box. But anyway, um, yeah, if I can just get um, the trick is with these, I found out on the. Um, not the center pin but the two outer pins where they come in you can debounce by finding the right value capacitor I found out that the uh, ceramic ones don't work uh, they make it even worse the polarized electrolytic right now I've got a 10,000 microfarad and that seems to do good um, the lower I go the, um, the worse it gets so I may try to increase that a little bit more uh, with these you can increase them by putting them in parallel and like a resistor it's kind of opposite in series uh, you'll use the same equation as you would for uh, resistors in parallel uh, but res uh, capacitors in parallel will um, it'll you add the two values together so um, I think it's just a matter of finding on each one of these uh, by the way, you tie the positive side to the motor pin, negative side to ground, or the center pin. I've connected mine to ground. So uh, I think just changing the value of this cap will get rid of the rest of the bounce out of the uh, sensors in here. Keep prototyping.